Hello and welcome. This is the third episode of my um, Stellaris uh, Guido tutorial. Um, last time we discussed it, uh, the traditions. Um, there's also something called relics that's going to be in here, but this is from a DLC. And you might not have it, but we'll get to this once we are getting to that. Now, ship designs. Here you can find all of your ships. Um, what it is, your ships, your corvettes, your destroyers, all of it. So it's going to be amazing. Let's on pause it for a second. So for now we have Corvettes. Now there is, if you press the interceptor there, you can select multiple uh, boat ships. Uh, this will add um, missiles and this will add a point defense. So if you encounter enemies early on that have missiles, add a point defense. And you have two weapons against their one. And that's, uh, that's really strong. That is really strong. I'm still hoping that my enemy factions have that now we'll get to this uh, a bit more uh, quite soon uh, but for now there is something and there you go the archaeological site that has to do with relics for now i'm going to right click this one uh, so we don't see it and there's also uh, once again a anomaly we'll leave it for now because i want to make sure that we have different things to do our planet is uh, is crying about something it has a population that has no job for this one is your planet stability, your population count, your crime, your number of, op of houses that are open or lacking. We have 27 for no uh, now, but there's only 7 open. This is your amenities, your bar, your cafe, whatever, your entertainment. Available jobs are zero, that makes this guy unemployed. It is part of our core sector, and this is where you can select something for your colony but we'll get to into it later because this is your capital you cannot use this do you want to automatically increase the buildings yes or no well we do want to have that even on our main planet and it will start talking about a low um, optimization uh, stockpile get rid of that that's the one that we're talking about in f4 where you can add it uh, where you can add um, resources to a stockpile that's just basically that it's saying we are lacking you might want to change that this just going to be upgrading the building and this will just tell the AI I want to have a a generator world and it will start building generators for you uh, districts showing planetary features is where you can find your tile blockers and this one's going to be important this will create a population for you so that will that, that will add just two guys immediately very strong definitely advise as soon as you got the money go for it just do it terraforming we'll get into that later eventually you can just change planets that you cannot habitat into planets that you can it's your trade value again what it is that your planet is producing and what your planet is costing these are empire uh, things, so don't worry about it pl 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 uh, per planet. It's not needed. Your buildings will uh, have uh, different things like uh, consumer goods for unity and society research. For uh, So it, it, basically what you used to do is get a planet and you build this immediately because you want to have that unity production. And I, I'm, I'm not... I'm, I'm the same. I am definitely the same and seeing that we 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 have a good income we don't need it for anything else I'm going to say you're going to build that unity monument and see if we can get um, say more of that colony thing out of them that will also change the unemployment because this will generate uh, two cultural worker jobs so the next one that we can open up with um, the tile blockers will make it so that we have um, zero jobs available and the next one, we'll see what we'll do it at that time. Population, ruler jobs. Uh, you can see that here. Administrative jobs will produce uh, unity, and they will cost um, food as well as uh, consumer goods. And they will add plus 16 in amenities. Uh, your specialist jobs. We have an enforcer here. We have uh, people that con uh, make cons uh, consumer goods, alloys, and do research. This is um, your cleric job. So trade value. That's your cleric right? It's trade value. It's not a flat out bonus on technician. Technician is uh, energy minus 
minerals and farmers is food. So this you will have the most on. So the plus 5% from a tradition could be very nice. Armies. These will defend your planet but you can also build armies over here. Devastation level is when this planet is going to be bombarded. This will go up and being here then you can see the devastation is, um, is quite high and a lot of people have died. A general to guide these armies and cooperation is something that you probably won't have because it is a, a mega corporation feature. In decisions you can add decisions for your planets. We could say we don't want no robot population and we, we are not building them anyways. Uh, we can declare martial law if you are taking over a planet and everyone is pissed off then this will increase the stability and also adds more soldier jobs in your armies increasing the stability once the planet hits 60 you can turn this one off and it will be safe declaration of declare population control no one breeds no more babies but reduces stability um, this will generate more amenities and do more immigration pool, but it will cost you 300 uh, of luxurious goods, so um, consumer goods. Planetary growth will get more, more food equals more babies. Uh, population is expelled. If this planet is going overcrowded, you can expel up to 10 people. I would not recommend using this. I would just go for the resettlement because you don't want to reduce the stability and by resettlement it will cost you some energy. But your other planets will benefit from that. And this is um, one of the story packs. The um, God, was it the ancient ancient sites, ancient relics? That's the DLC. That's the story pack that will add this one. That's about it for this planet for settlement. We can do. We handled everything. That's great. Let's unpause it for now. So we're building here. You can see it by the timer. We now have more than a hundred, so go here. What are we lacking? The system is not fully surveyed. So going here, you see that he has plus two. He has two more jobs in this system. So uh, we are still going to send him. And once the colony ship is done, we're going to send him there as well. Normally, not right now, you're going to do this job and then it's done. Um, yeah, survey 8 planets, or not survey 8 planets, I'll go for the influence. Not all, all uh, events are eventful. That one isn't, it just tells you, you need to um, find other planets, basically. That's it, uh, nothing more. Okay, we were talking about ship design, a leader gain the level. Now, this is your standard one. Actually, in the past, it used to be like this. Um, point defense, and then two weapons. It used to be like this, uh, but there's not many enemy uh, empires that use missiles early on. Now, we can't use this one because this is automatic generated. So, adding the auto upgrade, if we get tech 2... If we get tech free, he will make sure it is added to our ships. As well as upgradation to, to this one, a utility slot. So power, warp drive, thrusters for speed in systems, our raiders. And this is um, your computer. And your computer will, will get to that once we get um, swarming things and stuff like that. This is where you can place your afterburners as well as a reactor boost. Now, I've never been without of power. And reactor boost, if you have two more of it, it could also generate a bit more speed. As you can see over here, plus two. It's not too much. It could be useful if you... But it, it will just cost you more upkeep. And it will cost you um, more in, in cost of building. Armor and shields. But I uh, usually would just go for this one. And just save it. This is going to be it. He will automatically increase that. You also have a defensive platform. It and, and, and I'm, I'm lucky to say that it is on small. Sometimes you start off with your stations being on medium. Now medium is great for like cruisers. Maybe destroyers. But it's too slow to handle corvettes. 
at the early game, the empires that you will face are using corvettes and perhaps destroyers. And small will just be sufficing enough. Now, this one has three red lasers, four red lasers and four uh, massive drives. So one is going to be doing plus 50 percent more shield damage at the cost at 50 percent armor damage and this one do will do um 50 more armor damage at the cost of shield damage so make a good selection look at what your enemy has in ship design and if the enemy is using a lot of uh, armor weapons then add more shields to your stations if he is using more shield weapon or uh, shield damage add armor so uh, you'll just uh, offset that Let's to just save over here. We'll uh, rename those. Now he's already going over there. Let's make sure that we get this outpost going. Our colony ship is done. So let's send him over there. Great. What else can we do? Oh, uh, policies. Policies is one, one thing, guys. Oof. Um, species. Species in your empire. Now you have certain rights for citizenship and, and, and all of this uh, this stuff. Uh, this, uh, what this will do is increase the amount of um, consumer goods and you will get something in return. Not all of that works that way. There are some that will just um, ruin the happiness of, uh, of other population. But really increase like this one the, uh, the ruler jobs and the specialist jobs. Say you want to have a species that is fully focused on research and rulers. Add them the um, academic pri uh, privilege and they will just uh, make sure that they do not get into worker jobs. Because they are the least happy on it. Every species will get in there. What you can do will get back to. Because I just don't want to be talking the entire episode. Well of course I want to be talking but not in that manner. Is there something we missed? Did I miss something? The fleet manager. Here you could add ships to your fleet and by adding ships to your fleet they will pop up here and you can increase their number. Now usually you can add like 20, we can add 30 and you will see it would generate a 1k fleet for now. Hitting this button will, um, in, uh, will reinforce this fleet but it's a bit wonky every now and then, sometimes it would just add ships to nothing you'll end up with a lot of fleets and that's just annoying i would just advise just click the fleet hit reinforce over here or upgrade over here and um yeah that will do you will see that build uh, that window a lot of times now with all of this out of the way we're going to be making mine uh, mining stations so by right clicking this system you can add build mining station by holding shift you can add those mining stations to all of those. So he will build over here, then he'll go over here, and then he'll go over here. That will slowly happen. He is still uh, researching over there. You are going to be close to an ending there. And I think it's going to be time to build another science ship. Let's pause it for a second. Shipyard, building, science ship. That will just... Uh, tradition. Now, we are going to be starting a colony quite early on and adding 25% speed, Starbase influence cost. We are still building out Starbase. We haven't built as much, but um, it is very likely that we will build more Starbases than generate population because it will take still uh, four years to generate and this won't, if we click this one, at uh, only one and a half years so by the time the colony is finished we will have that one population and we we we'll probably will be close to the population growth speed then we'll flip to discovery let's get rid of that so we are building let's take a quick look we go to leaders scientist by recruiting what is it that we want um, and normally research speed it could be something very nice right now we have some anomalies by clicking a sign ship you will see those um, but if you do not select one hold alt and you will see those jobs as well so there's plenty 
but we're going to be researching we're going to be surveying this entire area uh, before getting to those jobs uh, I know there are a lot that will advise against that but I am going to work that way because I want to make sure that we have everything in the t territory that we have before getting to those research jobs even though they will generate a good amount of everything you once you're there I'm going to be sending into this direction and you can already see that this space is going to be relatively safe is there an opening in here if you zoom in you can usually see there's a small line going into there uh, usually they can be a bit smaller so this is going to be a relative safe territory all the way up here so we would have enough on one scientist going into this direction however over here it splits in two different ways so having two scientists going into this direction that it splits over here as well eventually there's no way you can keep up don't even try don't 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 make like 16 science ships that they're not that useful um this is a lucky find that adds plus three to a planet in this system making this system quite interesting already hopefully this guy will uh will find more planets this colony ship is now done if you have a colony ship uh, usually you will go like this and then add colony and then then do this but uh, oh actually they added it did this use use not uh, this this wasn't in there um, last time I checked uh, but you can actually do it now um, that just was an update uh, well, usually you would have to right click and then colonize this planet but now you can just click the name and say use the ship that I've made 90% now usually this is 80 you can generate a name click OK and the ship will disappear and start the colonization process as soon as it arrives is our construction ship building uh, tiny tiny stations look at that aren't they lovely aren't they amazing look at that this uh, Star Trek designed uh, base love it really love it Recon let's get back in completed. there so with all of that done all of this uh, discussed the leaders I, I guess you, I don't have to discuss this right because we know how it goes right now and this is a great day for the commonwealth and we are getting some research from that which is great we're still building up our influence and with the tradition quite soon it will uh, it will cost us 10 percent less so it was how much was it again um it was 60 now it's 52. so i believe that would be 30 percent and you can see that by going to the demographs you see we have a plus 15 in population growth we have a plus five on happiness now that, that should be a lot more in here uh, like our firing ship i i feel that sometimes we are lacking a few things in here i would like to see my my ship firing speed in here and stuff like that uh, we're going to leave it for now yet again he is going to be finished uh, are we going to bring him back no, we're going to be sending you towards something, but this time we're going to be making sure we uh, we get as much information as possible. So go over here to see if there's anyone close there. We might even see a ship popping in at some point. And that's why we want to make sure that we are going to be serving all of these uh, planets. Let's uh, go to speed 2 by hitting the plus. Hitting the plus will increase the speed, hitting the minus will decrease the speed. As well as plus, minus. Down here, Anomaly mixer. Found. Musical mixer. You might use it, you might not be. Anomaly found. Yeah, anomalies found. I know some of them are routine. Actually, wait. Is it one that you found? No. It's all something that these guys found. And I will use one scientist later to do all of them. And at some point, when this is all opened... I will research everything. So if the scientist called um, Dudley Stutter, he will do all of the research jobs. Because he's going outside of my my potential uh, borders. He's just too far away. Uh, we were say, uh, speeding up the game. Now you can see the Unity building is made and we are still we're only making a plus four in consumer goods. Consumer goods you can buy. 
They're um, 260. They're not too expensive. Uh, alloys you can sell and you can buy consumer goods from them. So I would go for minerals and alloys and then consumer goods. Now, in, in, in to do those, um, you can see minerals into alloys. So it needs 12 minerals to produce 6 alloys. And the next building that we can make is definitely going into that. But if we do this too fast, our workers will promote themselves to specialist. And we don't want that. This is not taught. So leave it for now. So just Another wait at least till you have one unemployment. Leave this for now. Now, we were talking about that um, that planetary thing. Also, energy is going to be a bit low, but looks a bit for energy. Now, there's a few things that you can change in your decisions that could generate either more consumer goods uh, at the cost of some energy. But if I'm going to do um, policies as now, then it's going to be another very long talk. And we are not into that. So... I'm going to end up the video over here. We we expanded. We are building a, another a colony. And by the year 2208, it is going to be done. Usually, it will take you 8 years, I believe. Or 6, one of the two. It's faster now. And our unity has gone up. And in 0 months, we can select <laughs> the one that I want. So our colony have a plus 1. There you go. Let's pause for now before more things happen. We had a bit of an expansion going. Uh, we have three scientists going all over the place. I think this is already going to be a, a goodish start. Uh, especially with the unity. It, it's strong. It is strong. Uh, energy will go up because we are building stations. This one has a six. And we definitely want to get all the way up to here. Probably over here as well. It might even boost this area. It kind of depends on what else is in here. Look at this system. Six minerals. Building mineral districts is not as interesting as your energy district. Because you will find more minerals than energy. Trust me on that one. As for now, thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you're enjoying yourself. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.